Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Technology. So today I'm going to show you one new network manager tool which is have so many features in one place. So if you are a network engineer or if you want to troubleshoot your local home internet problems, then this tool will help you out. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So first of all, you need to go to this website which is called github.com slash born to be root slash network manager so i will give you the link on my video description after go to this website you have to scroll down and after that here you will get two version over there which is which is called msi which is a Im installer version you need to install this version on your pc or you can use it portably so i will download portable version here because i don't need to install this application on my computer so just after click on this link you have to click on save now automatically one zip file will be download on your computer. So after that you have to click on open that zip file and you will get a folder like network manager. So drag drop that folder on your desktop. After that close this window. Now open network manager folder. After that scroll down and you will get one option over there is called network manager application so double click over there or right click over there and click on open after that you will get an option like windows protected your pc so you have to click on more info and click on run anyway now you'll get a welcome skin like this so click on continue after that it will scan your gateway and your internet IP which you are connected throughout outside of your network. So as you can see in my case my gateway is 192.168.0.1 and the public IP is this one. After that click on this network interface button over there from the left side corner and you will get all your LAN card details over there like IP address, MAC address, whatever you have. Now if you want to scan your local IPs then you can put IP ranges over there. In my case, I will put my IP ranges 192.168.0.0 slash 24. So it will scan all my network and after that click on scan. Now it will take some time and it will show all your live IPs which is connected on your network right now. Okay, so after done, you can do with this tool port scanning like if I'll put my IP 192.168.0.10.4 and if I'll put any port over there like 80 and you can scan this port is up or not. Okay. So as you can see scanned one is showing open zero means the port is not open. Okay. So now the next option is ping. So through this tool you can ping any IPs through this option. Okay. So like I will ping here google.com and click on this ping button. So now as you can see all the information is showing over there the IP address the hostname google.com and the time and the bytes over there. So now I'm going to go to the next option which is trace route. So you can put any domain name over there and you can click on trace and you can see all the paths and IP address and host over there. So through this way you can check all the hopes and count over there. So the next option is DNS lookup. Suppose if you have a domain like google.com example like google.com and if you want to check the google.com DNS server then you can put here the google.com domain name and after that click on lookup tool. After click on lookup it will show all the name server over there as you can see Google using name server oneguglecom ns2.google.com and all are this name server showing over there. Now the next tool is remote desktop. So if you want to connect any remote machine, so you have to click on new connection. After that you have to put the IP address, the machine which you want to connect and after that you have to click on this connect button. Okay. The next option is PowerShell. You can do through your PowerShell connect any network 
and the next one is putty if you have a putty on your computer suppose you want to connect any terminal you can use this option okay so after that tide vnc also same then using for remote desktop purpose now if you want to check http headers then you have to click over there and you have to put any domain name over there like in my case i am putting here https google.com and if i click on check it will show me the headers as you can see so the next option is who is that's mean you can check any domain name all the details like if i'll put over there google.com if i'll click on query it will show all the details the domain name server and register date all those all those details showing over there as you can see okay so the next one is subnet calculator so if you want to calculate the subnet marks then you can use this option okay so the next one is lookup so this option will help you to find the mac address details so right now i don't have any mac address details so i will put here my own virtual machine mac address okay so i will put here ip config slash all and as you can see here is my mac address so if i just copy this mac address over there and click on lookup as you can so see it's showing the vendor the next option is connection that means your pc connected with which ip it will showing over there and it will it will so also show the status okay as you can see showing state established time weight all the details the next option is listener that means it will show all the tcp and udp details uh, which is connected right now on your computer also you can click on this option to do some settings over there change some settings over there you can change the appearance of your network manager tool like if you will click on appearance it will show you can change the theme from here you can check the transparency so i hope this small video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button and if you have any queries or question then comments down below i will see you guys on the next one next video take care